For me, reinvention is really focused on ideating. It's being able to take what really is commercially off the shelf products, bring them together to provide real solutions that never were possible, which is exactly what we've done uh, in my company at Vita Inclinata Technologies. About 10 years ago, a friend of mine went down with cardiac arrest and we called the Oregon National Guard to come rescue him. When the helicopter arrived, the basket that they were lowering down to us below was swinging back and forth, unable to get through the trees. And after multiple attempts, they eventually called off the mission and we called time of death. We took that problem and then went to the military and said, is this a systemic problem across all search and rescue operations? And in fact, it was. 24 people every single day are either killed or injured because of it. And so basically, we went out and said, how can we solve this? And we tried to figure out, OK, can we take a rail system and put it on the side of the helicopter to try and mitigate the swing of a Black Hawk, or try and manipulate the hovering system of a helicopter? Both really stupid ideas. I mean, I started in 2012, and I was 18 years old, just started in undergrad, and no one believed me worth crap. I was too young, I was 18. You have no idea what you're talking about. These are the DOD, this is the military, this is the Lockheed Martins, the Boeings of the world. They made absolutely no sense, just get out. And that's exactly what it was until 2018. We had nothing and we just continued to struggle bus it for years upon years upon years. And then finally when I was 25, we were able to actually build something, which was basically a black box with red fans that we said, oh, it turns on. But then we put it on a Robinson 44 aircraft and actually said, oh wait, it actually can do something. And then that's when it hit. Every investor, every, the military, the US Air Force, the US Army, all came together basically saying, holy crap, you've got something. It doesn't matter that you're 26 years old. It doesn't matter that you're able to have this kind of thing and actually face the giants that are the big OEMs of the world. But it's now, hey, how do you take this ideation and then execute on it? How do you roll it out? And that's exactly where everybody started to jump on the team because now it moved from disbelief to belief. And that was the most empowering thing that I could possibly imagine. Normally in today's society, people are gonna tell you the three common things, especially in startups. Perseverance, willingness to fail, courage, all that kind of stuff. But for me, it was legacy. Legacy is what made it all worthwhile, but more importantly, kept me focused on exactly where I needed to go in order to execute the mission, which is to bring those people home.